Welcome guys to another little episode on the Extra Mile. My name is Alex and um, I have another little update uh, for you. And I thought I would take you along for the ride today. So as you can see the blinds are installed and finished and they are doing what they're supposed to do. Um, I have a little bit less light here in the room so I can control that a bit better. And um, yeah, today um, the job is to uh, connect those two and then uh, to connect all the lights. It is Sunday morning, uh, quarter past nine right now. So yeah, let's get going. So the first thing that I have to do is connect those two. Those are the wires for the switches. I hope that you can uh, see that that's the starter button and I will have to extend those wires so I can uh, connect it to these little switches which uh, which I can put into or plug into the switchboard so yeah that's the first thing on the list today is get all the switches functional that I want to use and afterwards um, I will try to get the switches to light up. So I'm starting to solder uh, the extension cable here. Um, one little thing <laughs> that I've done wrong too many times is to not put the shrinking tubes on there before. So that is something that you might want to remember if you ever have to do this yourself. So. Yeah, this is the extension for the DSC button. And there we go. One nice extension which should last forever, basically. Now all I have to do is to plug this in uh, into the back of the switch and it should work. All right, so now it's time to um, solder the extension for the starter button right here. So the connection is soldered up. Now I will put the shrinking tubes over this and warm them up. So that is one more step done. Two lovely secured connections that should hold for a very long time. Now I have to split this up and um, see that I can get the button to actually work. So great news. I don't know if you can see that there, probably not, but the, uh, the button is working. That button is working. These two are working, these two are working, these four are working, and the big one in the middle is working as well. So now the next step is to get all the illuminated buttons to light up again. And um, yeah, that will take uh, probably a bit more soldering and wiring, but uh, should not be that difficult to do. We will see. See you then, guys. So now I've uh, wired up the LEDs behind those two switches here. And in theory, if I plug this in here, which is not that easy with one hand. There we go. And if I plug this in here, go then these two should light up but only one is lighting up so I made a mistake and I will have to fix that so after checking the wiring rewiring everything checking the switch independent it switches independently uh, it should now work when I plug this in and there you go both of the switches light up and ah, look at that 
that's new. So why does it do that? That's interesting. So now it <laughs> lights up when I press it, but not constantly. But um, I will fix that as well. So we will have to go for a third round. All right, and there we go. The two switches light up permanently and they are working. So third try is a charm. Um, next up are those two switches in the middle here and then those six switches here. And um, yeah, let's see how that goes. So another little step completed. Now those two light up as well as you can see. So when I press this button here, they should go out. Uh, yes, they do. And when I press this again, there they are. So now we get to wiring up those. And then we are actually finished with the switches which is great. Uh, by the way, another little idea that I had is I'm going to make a wireframe that I will put beneath the cloth, which is uh, the frame should be exactly uh, the length and width of this uh, frame here. So that should stretch the cloth out and then I only have to attach the wireframe somehow to this. But um, I think that should work rather well. I can measure uh, all of this build the frame, put the cloth over it, and that should work, hopefully. So, um, now on to the last step here. So, as you can see, good news, the switches in the middle are uh, lighting up as well. So, now the last little bit that is left to do is uh, connect the lights for these two and I will wire those in parallel to these two so those get a little bit dimmer because they are a bit brighter than these and then the switches and the lights are done um, so see you in the next bit guys so I've now been uh, twisting and soldering wires for about uh, four hours now and the bad news is that I can't get those to light up and I'm not quite sure why I can show you what it looks like down here so that is the let me put that light here somewhere oh, I will hold it so here we have to insert the pins on the sides of this little port here and I've now connected uh, two different sets of wires to those pins um, and connected those to the power source which which um, should light them up but for some reason which I can't really explain right now um, it won't light up which is not a super bad thing because the buttons still work but um, I still would like to have it all completed so now I will think about that and go for some lunch and um, think about that uh, they did work before the buttons worked and the light worked so I'm not quite sure why it doesn't work anymore but um, yeah we will see this is it for now today guys um, this is the update for today I'm quite stoked that the wiring is almost finished right now and that all the buttons work that I want to work so um, the next update I will show you the repaired floor I will have the pedals installed and tomorrow I will um, drive to the shop and get a little plate that I can install here, get a little switch and then I will wire that up as well and that will be basically my, my light switch so um, yeah so far so good 
things are moving along nicely and I hope that um, I will get the new PC on Wednesday. Wednesday should be the earliest delivery date that uh, I've been told, Friday the latest. And as soon as the new PC is here, I can start to record proper vid videos. So yeah, see you then guys. I hope you enjoyed this little update and I will keep you guys in the loop. Bye bye.